We have a lot of common values, I feel, and that's something for me personally that has been very, very interesting and very reassuring doing the box project. In my view, some of the things that we can make sure that the children are prepared for are use of ICT, um, also the fact that they'll be working in a much more global community, either in this country or worldwide. So hence the India project was really ideal for that. Children learn in, in different styles. What we've done so far, up until the box, um, that we made the box, was very much literacy based, whereas this was more sort of kinesthetic learning. I asked them to think of an item that would sum up their family to them and that would lead, lead into maybe them putting that item in the box to send over to the, the APJ schools. We had to think about items that would actually fit into the shoebox and items that the children didn't mind sending over. And whose t-shirt is that? Yeah, that's mine. That's yours? Right. And was it for a special occasion? Newcastle one. Newcastle one. Right, was well, very happy about that. It was like Christmas Day. They couldn't wait to unwrap the box that had come over from India. There were some good guesses as to what would be in the box because they did have some background knowledge of the Indian culture and what might be in there. But there were also some, also some you know, big surprises. What's important to you about your family? Well, we've been discussing like why you like your family and what's important about them. And I thought they care for me and love for me and they're always there for me. Then we went on to have a chat about whether we have any family customs or routines in our class. Each Friday we have, we watch a movie and we play a game together. We also toss a coin to see who gets to pick the movie and also the game after. Nearly yeah, every Saturday and Sunday I go to my nana's house with my brother, my mum and my dad because she makes lovely stew on it Saturday and, and, and chips and gravy on Sunday. Is there an item um, that you can think of that sums up your family to you? A photo of my family and I standing in the park all together. It's a ballet show that my great grandma's mum had and it's passed down the family and I'll be getting it next year. Do you do ballet yourself? Yeah. Lovely. My item would be my grandpa's badge which he got in the army. He was a sergeant in World War II and also fought in World War II. Tell us what you put into the box for India. Well, I put in a box um, a baseball. Why? Why did you put, choose that object? Well, I think in India they might not have ever seen a baseball or played it, so I thought maybe they could start to play it. Can you remind us what you put into the box? What did you bring into school to put into the box for India? I put in a picture of my family and me into the box to go to oh. India. Was it on a special occasion? Yeah, it was on my mum's birthday. Excellent. Now, what do you think the Indian children will think about the photograph and what does it tell them about family values in this country? I think that it'll tell them, like, we all like going out together and having a good laugh. You've got some ideas about what you think the children in India will have put into the box. What are they? Well, Mrs. Matthews and Miss D bought some elephants back from the from India from the Indian market, and so they might be special to the children because they've been given by somebody special to them. Excellent. Why do you think elephants particularly? Well, it's just because they, there's lots of them in India and they're quite special to the Indians. Thank you. Well done. What do you think has been put into the Indian box? Well, I think that in some toys that have been passed along from their mothers and fathers and maybe even from their grandmas and grandpas, mm -hmm. that um, there might be some tiny horns or some ornaments being wrapped up. I think that it'll be like a metal frame with beads on 
because I got I've got one from Africa, so I think that India will have the same sort of thing. What would they use that frame for, do you think? They'd use this as like a decoration. I think they would have some ornaments of their gods. Uh, because they're quite their gods are quite special to them. What do you think it is? I think it's um, those things that they put on their heads when they, um, do you know the red dots that they put on their heads? Um, I'm taking this out and it says Van Goli on it and I think that Van Goli is a type of pasta. These are some photos from India and there's some of the children. That one's where um, a little boy and his mother and his father are going to stand outside the temple and that one thinks in the garden with the children. And I also think that it's a temple where they go to worship or a temple where they go to pray and because there's lots of people behind them going in and I think that's where they do it. And there's some writing on the back. I'm sure it's his parents at Taj Mahal. I thought it was the Taj Mahal. We brought a, a lot back from our trip to India and we talked to the children a lot about what we'd done. But I think it's turned um, that sort of intangible concept into something um, concrete for mm. them. So they've been able to sort of learn through, through a different method rather than um, going away and doing research. They've been able to learn by doing. And then the children had to go out and get these items. Uh, and once they got them in, what did you do with them? Did you have a lesson where you discussed these? Yeah. The children shared yeah. the reasoning behind what they'd chosen. So again, they were sharing with all of the other classmates, really, um, which was very interesting. Um, a lot of the children had chosen similar items. I think teddies were popular, <laughs> photographs particularly. Um, and then, really, it was together as a group, them choosing which would be the best collection to then represent their family values. The, the children spent a lot of time imagining what Indian children would lie. So it was for them quite a bit of learning or yes. standing in other people's shoes. Yes, exactly. It was interesting. Um, one of the items was a small children's rolling pin right. that we put in um, that had significant meaning for one of the children. And um, it was quite interesting. They immediately felt that, oh yes, the children over in India would know exactly what that rolling pin was, what it would be used for, and they would have similar items for preparing food over there. You're planning to do something similar, putting together a box? We're doing something similar with secondary school students and that's from an age range about 13 through to, to 16. When our students are going to India in a few weeks time. Okay. So it'll be interesting to see what they choose and how their perhaps preconceptions are different from uh, primary school children. Because I think teenagers become yes. very, very self-reflective, don't they? Yeah, mm. they're conscious mm. of what other people think about them. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's going to influence what they put in the I box. I think it will do, yes. And I think the impact of technology will be there as well. I think one of the fun part of the project <coughs> was predicting what would come back. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Um, we found that the Year 4 children were quite accurate in some of the items. Yeah. They'd said jewellery, some toys, photographs particularly, those sorts of things similar that they'd put in. I think that it'll be like a metal frame with beads on because I got, I've got one from Africa so I think that India will have the same sort of thing. What would they use that frame for do you think? They'd use this as like a decoration. I think they would have some ornaments of their gods uh, because they're quite, their gods are quite special to them. 
How did the children enjoy the experience of being oh, filmed? Oh, they were thrilled to have been able to take part in, in this project. Mm. And obviously it will impact on the whole school once they actually watch the video, but the children that were involved in it were over the moon. So Cathy, how do you assess what they have learned? Does making the video help you capture that? It does, hugely. Um, it's something that we can use then as a tool, the video, with other other teachers within the school, um, really going back and looking at precisely what the children understood before the project began mm. uh, in some of their initial discussions about their own family values and then their predictions for the India uh, items and what those family values are that would be reflected in the items. So um, very, very useful tool indeed and to have that permanent record mm. for years to come, um, I think that would be really useful. Do you want to do it a second time? I would do, yes. Yeah. So obviously if we were going to do it with the, our India link schools, there'd have to be a different focus. But I think, um, you know, I'm trying to set up links with, with schools from European countries. So this is definitely an idea that I, I could take and do with, do with them. So I'd definitely do this again. I think it's been really valuable. What are the other things that you might like to explore? Yeah, I mean, you see, with, with secondary schools, you could do quite a lot of different, sub, more subject-based ones. Um, they could, you could do one with a his, historical theme, right. or one that would introduce a, a geographical, maybe a whole humanities theme, or a science theme. And I think there's a, a great simplicity in the box, which then opens out all sorts of opportunities for, for, for discussion. Are you waiting to see the, your box being opened in India? Absolutely. We're really looking forward to seeing that video. <laughs> yes, yeah. yeah. The teachers as well as the children, yes, very much anticipating uh, what their response what would be. It, yeah. Yes. If you use the, the shot of all four of them, as, yeah. as what we call an establishing shot, which lets us get a sense of the space, and when, once you've asked the first question, we can then move in and get a, a single shot of the person who's answering. Okay. If I hand over to you. Yep, fine. Um, you have a go. If you could think of an item that sums up your family to you, what would that be? And just wait there, wait for me to come in. Um, the item would be a family photo album with pictures of my family holding me as a baby. Fantastic. The third type of shot, which is very useful, is what's called a reaction shot. We're actually going to get a shot, not of the person who's answering the question, but of everybody else listening right, fine. to them. What's important to you about your family? Um, it's important when me and my mum spend time together because she's usually on the computer doing work, so we don't usually get to spend much time together. OK, that's great. So now we've got a nice sequence. We've put it together piece by piece, yeah. but what you'll find is that when you've done it a few times, you'll just be able to get the sequence of shots while everything's going on, so it's much more comfortable. Yeah. Good. That's great. The box has finally arrived. Maybe they have sent some gifts for us? Oh, it's very heavy. Oh, the dear fortune. Your fortune. Yeah. 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 Yeah.